Hey, I'm Chris Peterson. Welcome to Checkup Prep, your informational video series based on your child's well visit. Probably not a conversation we should be having here at the library. So let's do this. You watch the disclaimer clip, I'll meet you back at the office. Perfect. See you there. While I am a board certified pediatrician licensed to practice medicine in the state of New Hampshire, this video is meant to be informational only, not an attempt to practice medicine, nor to be diagnostic. It is meant to be used in conjunction with your child's well care visits. Two years of age already. Incredible. Let's start talking by, about foods. Two years of age, we still want to eat together as a family. That's an important message. We're a unit. We're all going to eat the same things. We're all going to interact. I know it's going to be chaos. I say that like it's nice and calm. There's going to be foods and getting down and this and that, but trying to keep it as calm and, and friendly and non-adversarial as we can. Give your two-year-old the things that you are eating. Don't make uh, favorite foods as that only fosters their pickiness. Foods that we want to make sure we're getting in, 24 ounces of a low fat now, don't need the whole milk anymore, can go to skim or 1%, low fat milk, 24 ounces a day. Vitamin D supplements still important. Lean proteins, dairy, eggs, fish, chicken, and the plant proteins. Trying to stay away from the red meats, staying away from hot dogs, staying away from lunch meats, those kind of fake meats. So bacon is also on the list now. Those are the things we want to try to avoid and staying with those leaner proteins. Fruits and vegetables through the day, of course, are going to be important as are whole grains, making sure we're limiting the amount of, uh, of added sugar through the day. Three meals a day plus snacks in between isn't an unreasonable thought process for feeding your two-year-old. Toddlers eat way less than they used to at six months, nine months of age, and so cutting back or realizing that they're going to come back. There's days that they're going to eat really well, days where they don't. That's okay. That's what toddlers do. It's part of their nature. It's part of their genetic history. Let's talk about development. Two years of age, we're expecting them to talk in sentences, not long ones, two words, that's all. Things like I love you, bye bye, thank you, those don't count as sentences. We always say those together, and so when they hear those words together, they just think about, about it as one big word, a super word. What we're expecting to do is to take separate words that don't usually go together, such as ball drop, uh, milk hot, bird fly, things they don't usually hear together and starting to put them together into little sentences. All the while their vocabulary should be increasing and their phonics should be improving. We'd only expect about 50% of what they say understandable by a stranger though. So phonics is still not a big part of, of their verbal abilities. From a gross motor standpoint, they should be able to get up and down the stairs okay. And they should be able to kick a ball. Fine motor, Stacking five blocks on top of each other is a skill for a two-year-old. And then socially, we expect them to be imitating you. And so we expect them to be imitating the good things, right? So making sure we're modeling good behaviors in front of them because they are little parrots, little monkeys. Uh, they'll do just about anything that we're doing. It's really cute because they want to be with us. They want to sweep with us. They want to vacuum with us. They want to bang nails together. They want to do the things that we're doing. So bringing them into that. Uh, but that imitating is certainly part of what we'd expect for a two-year-old. We're not expecting a two-year-old to share well. Two-year-olds are all about themselves. What's mine is mine. What's yours is mine. What I haven't seen yet is mine. So don't expect them to be sh good sharers. I'm not saying we don't want to encourage sharing, but it's not something that comes natural to them. They're very me-centric. It's all about me. Let's switch gears for a second and talk about safety. Around the house, we want that hot water low, 120, 125. That'll give you a good hot shower, but won't scald your baby. Uh, smoke detectors, carbon monoxide detectors, limiting the secondhand smoke to zero. If you smoke, quit now. Uh, making sure they are access to things they can choke on, pull down on themselves, um, burn themselves on. All of those things are limited. Furniture that can fall down onto them um, or um, things that uh, they can get entrapped in or entangled in, in the house are all risks that we want to try to mitigate. Water access, so pools or ponds or toilets. Uh, babies are heavier from waist up, so once they get stuck into something, they can't get out. So they get stuck in a toilet or a bucket of water, that's going to be a drowning accident. They have access to water, they will explore it. They go in quietly, they don't make noise, so don't think you'll hear them splash or call for you. 
They go in, they go under, and then you have a drowning accident. So avoiding access, making sure the gates are, are tight, and when you are around water, making sure we always have our eyes on them because it only takes a second for them to go under and be at the bottom. We don't want a drowning accident. Uh, bug spray, sunscreen, both are going to be important and okay to use on your two-year-old, um, but trying to avoid strong sun, trying to avoid the times the bugs are out, tick checks if there are ticks in your area, trying to reduce your chance of Lyme disease. You check your child twice a day, you bring that Lyme risk almost down to zero, so doing tick checks a couple of times a day will be helpful. Helmets, if you're doing any sort of bike riding or they're riding a bike or a tricycle, which would be a little advanced for a two-year-old, make sure they have a helmet on. And if you're bike riding with them, wear a helmet yourself. Your head is important too. You're uh, just as likely to have a head injury as a, as a uh, child is. So put a helmet on and be a good modeler and keep yourself um, safe as well. Car seat. Now that they're 24 months of age, they can be forward facing. The day you've been waiting for. So forward facing, but still that five point restraint. We want them to be in a five point restraint until they're 40 pounds. So forward facing, back seat being the safest spot, five points until 40 pounds. Um, and also they need to be developmentally appropriate to take the next step, which would be a belt adjusting booster seat, which most two-year-olds aren't. So if you have a heavy two-year-old, you just need a car seat that will do more than 40 pounds in that five-point configuration. Let's take a second and talk about oral health. Brushing a child's teeth is, is important. They may have all of their molars in, so they get two-year molars, believe it or not, right around the age of two. So they'll have two on each side, top and bottom, eight all together. That's the place that kids get cavities because things collect in there. Um, chewy things and gummy things will stick in there. Sweets will get stuck in those crevices. So making sure we're brushing our child's teeth well, using a smear of fluorinated toothpaste, just like butter on your toast or mayonnaise on your bread, um, brushing those teeth a couple of times a day. This goes into that one of the categories of you don't have a choice here. We either do it nice or we have to do it in the mean way, but I need to get your teeth brushed. I'm not saying hurt your child, don't get me wrong, but making it a point of brushing those teeth and brushing them well will reduce your child's risk of cavities later. Fluoride, if you don't have any in your uh, tap water, either your well water or your municipal water, ask your provider for a prescription. They may ask you to check your, uh, your water source to be sure that there isn't fluoride before they write it, but fluoride is an important part to make sure that you have good, strong, healthy teeth. Let's talk about activities your two-year-old is going to enjoy. We definitely want to encourage self-expression within limits, but allowing them to be themselves I think is really important. How they dress, how they interact. Still need boundaries. It's not about letting the boundaries down. It's about letting them be themselves within those boundaries. Timeout's still going to be very effective for modifying negative behaviors, still trying to ignore those uh, temper tantrums to try to reduce those. Ignoring temp temper tantrums is the best way to extinguish them. Using timeouts is the best way to stop or manage negative behaviors. We definitely want to, like I said, allow them to have choices. We want to show them affection. We want to read inter interactively with them. So pointing out pictures, having them um, uh, interact verbally with that book and you. Adding in simple math facts. I'm not saying workbooks, and I'm not saying getting your child to derive the quadratic equation, but simple things like, oh, you have two, and I have two. Let's count them. Oh, that makes four. What's a circle look like? What's a square look like? What's a triangle look like? Those kinds of simple math facts have been shown not only to increase kids' abilities with math later in life, but also increase their other school activities like social studies and reading and all those other things. So just getting that brain to work in a different way. Again, that's what separated us off from our cavemen folks is our ability to use numbers and number concepts. So starting to introduce basic concepts at two years of age is not unreasonable. Individual time, playing with them, but also giving them time to play by themselves and to, to self-soothe, listening to them, showing them respect, showing interest in their activities are all going to be helpful to know that not only they're important, but what they think and what they want to do is important. Model good behaviors yourselves, uh, making sure we're modeling good ways of dealing with frustration and anger. When we ha we're happy or we're sad or we are angry or frustrated, not hide hiding that from them, but showing them, yes, I'm angry, yes, I'm frustrated, yes, I'm sad, and this is the way I deal with it. 
helping them deal with frustration rather than throw the puzzle across the room. Can we ask for help? Can we put it away and come back for it? I know you're angry, but hitting is not the way we're angry. We tell people we're angry, we can cry, we can um, show anger in other ways, but being physical with anger is not how we show anger. Those are the things that we're going to try to do to try to develop the best ways for them to deal with those tough, uh, those tough emotions. Still with a few but consistent rules uh, around the house, not expecting them to share like we talked about. We would expect them to be genitally exploring. It's not something that's bad. You can curb it by saying, we're not going to do that here in the living room. We're going to do that in your um, bedroom or only during bath time. We don't want to develop a habit where exploring genitals is something we can do out in public. We want to make sure that it, they know it's okay, but also putting the boundaries around, you know what, let's just do that there in your bedroom. You, limiting the amount of electronics that your child gets, TVs, video games, those kinds of things. Your child would much rather play with you than sit and watch a video or play a, a video game. And certainly you can model that by putting your phone down or your video game down and playing with your child through the day. Enjoy them. Two years of age is definitely a challenging time, but they bring so much love into your life and so much happiness that it's definitely worthwhile in the long run. So interact with them, play with them, model good behaviors, and enjoy them. Take time for yourself. Take time for your spouse. Make sure we don't have that anxious face on, staying relaxed, and enjoying your child. Stay centered, stay balanced. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.